Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back again with another Paladins video. I'm going to be doing Alt Gen Saturday. Today, I think I have covered in the past, but I feel like it's worth revisiting because it is very, very underplayed for how strong I would say that it is. I'd highly recommend that you go ahead and give this one a go. The F setup for her is being nerfed a bit in the Kazumi update, but this one is somehow still the same as it was when it was first implemented, even though the wording is still a bit iffy. It works the same. It says hitting your coin, but it's actually, if you hit your coin, it hits an enemy, but it also triggers on the explosion, which can trigger like up to five times technically or more. Don't know if it triggers on deployables and stuff. And yeah, this card really is the core of the build. I think it might also trigger on shields, but I'm not 100%. I just remember a few instances where I've hit like a Makoa shield with the coin and it's triggered it. Then we have ammo, which I'd also consider sort of important and extra speed, which just makes it way more usable. For the talent, heads or tails is obviously the best option if you're going to go for the coin setup, although technically you can use window opportunity as well. It doesn't really stop you from doing anything with Sati, you're just focusing on the coin to get alt gen and losing a bit of other stuff that you might want to run. The other thing is that I will be using the coin more often than usual just to spam it and get the alt gen a crazy amount in scenarios where usually you just shoot the person instead of using your coin unless you want the heal or the reveal. I'm sure you get what I mean. But anyway, for game one, we got Onslaught Primal Court. Shout outs to that is our Nando and also our Zim. We then have a Ray and a Lex as well. For this, I had a Drogo, a Koga, a Nando, a Betty, and a Lilith. Also, because I know I'll forget if I don't mention it, if you buy anything from the Epic Games Store, including like Paladins, Crystals, and stuff, code Frostfangs, I'd appreciate it. And thanks to those of you guys that have been using it already. I don't bring it up very often in videos because it's kind of annoying, but thought I'd throw it in. We'll go ahead and grab the setup. Here is a little look at the inspects and I guess the weapon. I really like the Saudi weapon for the skin. I don't use the skin because the coin sound effect is bugged and it's way louder than it should be. Not really bugged, it's just implemented weirdly, but we'll go for double nimble. One thing also to mention is that Sati's mount viewpoint for some reason is like weirdly low, like compared to other characters. It's been like that ever since she came out. You are pretty much at full effectiveness as soon as the game starts. You're obviously not getting chronos or anything. As you can see, we're already at like 60% and everyone else is at about 10 I've got somebody behind me, I'm going to use this anyway, and then kick away, sure, that actually kind of worked, we've got the alt gen already, 20 seconds into a game, let's go ahead and pop the ultimate, this is ridiculous, we did get a hit there on the Drogos, just going to use it, doesn't really matter if I land them that much, because in a couple seconds I'm going to be using it again, there is a ton of damage, although I missed that one somehow, the coin is still a bit finicky, it's way better than it was, but... It's still not perfect. Go ahead and pop the ult here though. Again, that's two times in a minute. We'll just try and get rid of the Lilith. I guess you can't fire it in spawn. I've never walked into spawn with Sadio's before, so I didn't actually know that. We'll throw the coin over there for the Drogos. See if we can get some lucky hits. Oh my god, we actually would have killed him there. Never mind, he's still gone. Well done, Nando. I'd actually say this is somewhat easier to play than normal Sati in a few ways. Obviously, there are some parts that are a little bit janky with it and take a little bit to get used to, but it's not a specifically hard setup to do well with. The damage on the talent is definitely wrong, though. It's actually 300% or 200% because I dealt 900 to shields earlier. Let's get rid of the Nando. Koga's going for his thing. We'll just finish him off like that. Push in here with the Ray. Shots for the heal. Couple little ticks there on the Lurth. You do sort of want to play angles with it, obviously, because you can sort of hit people around corners when they can't hit you back. Sort of like that. Throw the coin just there in the middle. Pretty good map for it, to be honest. There's a detonate. We'll go for the ult. Can we finish him off? That was a three and one. That was one more. Let's see if we can finish off the Betty. Going for the classic Haven veteran. There's some hits on the shield. It does trigger. So it is actually way broken and significantly better than it should be. There's a kill on Drogos. I'm just literally throwing my coin and randomly just spamming it in positions where I think I'm going to get hits. Can we get rid of the Lilith here? I might use the weapon a little bit. Got out of combat for a sec. Pop the ultimate. Fire it there on the Nando, who I think was just in the middle. That's one hit. To be honest, like I said in the intro, I'm surprised this setup is still as effective as it is. And it didn't get nerfed or fixed or anything. It's just still absolutely busted. In my opinion, in casual stuff, you will do incredibly well with this. If you're using even half decently and just sort of playing around it, we'll go for the ult again. Just blast the Nando through his shield. Not doing a great job, but we did hit the Koga there by accident. Sure. Yeah, it definitely triggers on shields. We've got 10%. I didn't hit anything, so it's definitely more busted than I even sort of alluded to in the start. Get some more hits on the coin. Just jumping around and spamming it. You pretty much always have one out. As long as you're doing it right, that's the earth with the ult. And then pop the ultimate again. Just got some free damage on the Nando. Probably going to have to cut some of them out because I'm going to be using it so goddamn much in this video. There's no point in me trying to show all of them. There's a couple little taps on him explosion there with the trigger i think if you hit the person and the shield it's going to give you two which is even more ridiculous ultimate again i literally just used it a second ago finish off the nando through the shield throw the coin here in the middle shots here on him we killed the nando <laughs> all right we'll go for the ult our nando's gone that's ray jumping around trying to get some damage on him don't know if it's just me but it does feel like they're playing around me at least a little bit we'll go for the ult blast the koga the reveal from the coin does actually help out quite a bit we'll go ahead and blast all of them jump away from the drogos that sort of worked flip the coin just 
jump away. To be honest, I'm not really sure what to grab for the last item. I'm tempted to go for a morale boost. We don't need it. Like, you can already sort of see we're gaining the ultimate way faster than you'd ever realistically need with Sati, but I'm still tempted just to try and get a couple bit of extra percent going. Going here on the bottom, more hits. I know Drogos is on me. We're going to jump away, finish off the Nando. I don't have any of my little units. Somehow I had an ammo left there. Pretty good shot though. We'll flick the coin over on right side. Finish her off, maybe. Yeah, you can get some really cheeky angles. We'll go for the ult. Finish her off. Nope, she's jumping. She's dead. Zinc got rid of her. Finish off the Drogos, maybe. All right, to be honest, I probably should be playing the point more often. I feel like I'm actually doing not a great job, even though it might look like I'm being pretty effective. I don't think I've actually output that much so far in this game. I've probably been annoying. I feel like that's sort of my job if I'm playing a character like this and I'm just trying to showcase like a bit of a weird setup or we'll go for the... Oh, I say weird because this isn't meta. I think people actually use Sadie's F setup as a meta at the moment. Just triggered that coin. A couple hits. There we go. Might as well just detonate it. There's another one there. Sure, I'm literally just ignoring him so that I can get more coin hits. I did, though, but just about up. Get rid of the lift. Shout out for the save. Drogos is gone. Fire some stuff back there. That's Koga with you. We'll just hold this for a second and throw it. Throw the coin back there. Just start getting some shots on that. Lilith is on nothing. We'll throw that at the side. That didn't really work. That's the Drogos going for the ult. We are all fine, though, because everyone's just inside the Nando ult. Take that on him. Like I said, the coin is pretty jank still, even though they did fix a lot of it. I'm just going to finish him off here. Use the coin. No, it seems to teleport just still a little bit behind where it actually should. Go for the ult. Blast the bottom. No, am I dead to Drogos? Yep. We actually went pretty much the full distance with this one. We've only got like 50 seconds left in the match. I feel like we put up a really good fight. That's Betty with the ult. And it's one of the only times I've seen her use it in this game. Got the ult here right at the end. Just blast the Nando. Okay, that worked. Get rid of the Koga. Sure. Maybe that saves the game right at the end with the ult. There goes Drogos. Couple little blasts on the Lilith. Flick that there. She's gone. There we go. Win. For some reason, I really thought we were going to lose that one, but... Victory by just a tiny bit. They're, the, they're saying in the chat, nah, the coin spam is not cool. Fair enough. I've actually had that before. People don't enjoy going against the setup because it is pretty annoying. It feels a little bit cheesy, but, you know, they've left it in the game, so can't complain too much. But yeah, overall, like I said, a really good game. Nobody really stands out as doing massively better or worse than anybody else. Just pretty even stuff. I feel like the setup was very well showcased there. I can't imagine a better scenario for it. So I guess I'm going to leave this as a bit of a shorter one. Actually, I'm going to throw in here a cheeky TDM because I haven't played it in ages. Even though I've been recording here for about half an hour, I haven't played TDM on or off the channel in way too long. And I'll use the other version of the skin, which is way too loud. We've got a Buck, Shats, Twim, a 7 of 4, and a Ray. Then for their side, a Talus, a Lex, a Yag, a Corvus, and a Charlene. I haven't played against a Yag in forever. We've got Bounce House Extension, Overcharge, and its Presence. I didn't read them out, I think, in the first game. Just going to try and get some ult charge going. If I'd have landed that last little hit, we've got a bit of the Talus there. And then for this, like Inner Strength, Sand Trap, Dark Gifts, and Corrosive Acid. Let's just throw that there. I've got the ultimate, might as well pop it. There's a shot which I missed on the Lex. Walked into the Talus. I feel like this might be a bit of a tougher situation because of the double flank. The fact that it's only like 300 damage makes it sort of easier to deal with. I don't think I'd consider this necessarily overpowered, but it's definitely better than it should be, which I guess is the definition of overpowered. It just isn't like absolutely cracked out or anything. If you're good with it, though, it's an absolute pain in the ass to deal with. I'll tell you that much. Shots hit on the Yag. There's the Explosion. We've got a crazy amount of vault gen there. I think the part about it that feels really overpowered and really cheesy and the reason people hate going against it is that you sort of get hit from positions you're not expecting. Like, you'll just straight up get hit around a corner by somebody who's also genning their ultimate like at a crazy speed. I just killed Lex. I don't even know how I just killed Alex, but he's dead somehow. There goes the Corvus 2. Like, it's just very easy to play and you get so much of a benefit for just hitting something you've sort of stopped in the air. Yeah, it feels kind of cheesy. Went for the ultimate. Hits here on the Corvus and the... Ag really can't do commentary today. We'll throw the coin there. More taps. Honor. Get the detonate. There we go. Stop that right in the air. I wish they fixed the coin a little bit. They don't really need to because it's sort of passable now, but it's still sort of jank and stops a little bit before you've actually sort of hit it. You have to adjust your aim after you stop the coin, which makes no sense. Flick the coin all the way over there. Can we get a decent long range couple of hits? There we go. Throw the one right here to deal with the Lex as he's pushing. That <laughs> felt pretty cheesy. Throw the ultimate back there. Some pretty good hits, to be honest. There goes the Shaolin. Got rid of the... Lex nearly as well. He's quite low. There goes the Yag. Sure. Just throw the coin right in his face. Detonate it. There we go. Just get some more hits here on the coin behind cover. Throw it another time. There goes Corvus nearly. We'll just finish him off with the ultimate Yag's just sort of vibing, I guess. Most of the time, the damage output from Sati isn't as much as it would be if she was actually just really good and playing her normally, I feel like. Although, yeah, I think it's just the skill difference because you don't have to be very good and you still end up with a crazy output, which is sort of my point. I'm dead here. I think I'm going to try and jump away, but yeah, go on. 34 to 34. I don't know how we're even here. There's shots on her. Go for the ult. 
just blast her and anyone else we can get at the same angle. But there we go, the sort of abrupt defeat. Another okay showcase for it, very, very hectic, significantly more so than the first game, but we still ulted a crazy amount for TDM. That game was really short, I feel like I got like 10 ults off. And there we go, there are the stats for the second one. Don't have too much else I can add here at the end, I want to keep this video sort of brief because I've covered this before and I just really wanted to give you an updated look and maybe sort of promote it a bit more, even though this is pretty annoying. Maybe if more people pick it up, they'll actually do something about it and tweak Sadie and fix some of the parts about it that are still sort of broken, because even if they change this setup and maybe gave her a different place instead, it would give her more than sort of rigid formula she's sort of in at the moment, and this is a bit of a shake-up for it, which is why I like it. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, let me know what you will see with the next. I'll see you guys all really, really soon. And as always, stay frosty.